Hey everyone, my name is Kazi Nasir. I'm the Global Offering Manager for Plumbing Division at Armstrong Fluid Technology. Today we are here at a live manufacturing site where we've just installed our latest generation of booster system, the Design Envelope Permanent Magnet Booster. This booster right here is an N230302. Now this thing was designed with 75 GPM at 40 PSI boost, assuming we had about 40 PSI suction. Now the interesting thing about this is Armstrong did the sizing using our booster upgrade tool. We're able to do this using about one year's worth of flow consumption data. The head, interestingly enough, there's been construction outside. We dropped from 40 PSI suction down to 26 PSI. But because the design envelopes include a wide operating range, this baby is able to put out as much discharge pressure we need and flow we need without any operational issue. Now look, switching over to the motors over here, these are design envelope permanent magnet motors. What that means is that they're using a microprocessor and closed loop feedback to control the magnetic field within the motor itself. All that translates to when this motor spins 3600 RPM, you're gonna have your shaft, your impeller, and all other components spinning at 3600 RPM. You're gonna reduce that slip and increase that efficiency, as well as other motor losses, which are gonna otherwise put wear and tear on your equipment. Overall, this is going to end up giving you about 15% more efficiency. These motors are also brushless. That means you're not going to have to shut down the booster and interrupt service to your building just to inspect the motor, the brush leads or the brush springs. Putting it all together, we're going to get less downtime, whether that's because of unexpected failure or because you need to shut down to do annual and preventative maintenance. In terms of the weight and the size, these motors are about 50 pounds each, let's say. That's about 31 pounds lighter compared to an induction motor plus the VFD that you would have strapped onto it. Now, 50 pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but when you realize that it's gonna be this much bigger and you're carrying 80 pounds, it adds up, especially when that 80 pounds is across five pumps on a quintuplex booster. In terms of the size, we're looking at about 10 and a half inches of depth, looking at eight inches of width and about 13 inches of height. When we compare that to an induction motor, that's gonna be about nine and a half inches wide, 16 and a half inches tall, and 15 inches deep. So a lot deeper, a lot taller. In terms of the noise, well, overall the range is about three dBA quieter across the board. Now when we compare this specific model, you're looking at about five dBA quieter. So that doesn't even factor in the fact that you have the VFD and a switching frequency that would make the comparison even more quieter for the DEPM motors. The pump as a whole, this package is going to be plug and play. What that means is all we really had to do is take the water from the building, connect it to the headers, supply and discharge, and we took the main power and just connected it here. Other than that, ready to go. These headers over here, these are end caps connected to groove connections, and you got another groove connection here. The benefit that's going to offer you was we actually designed this booster to have the city supply pressure coming from over here coming across and back up. But just like what happens on any other site, things change. So we were able to switch out the end caps, put the groove, can leave the groove connection on the left side and discharge and suction both on the left side. If you get a flange connection, same thing. Rather than giving you manifolds with welded flanges, we'll be giving you flanges with adapters that will connect to the groove. So you can make that switch regardless. Also, one of the things to note is these headers can be shipped loose. To take advantage of that, if I look at the size we're running with right now, we're looking at about 42 inches in length and a header to header size of about 38 inches. Now, going through a standard 36 inch doorway, you're not gonna be able to fit this booster. So what you elect to do is ship your headers loose. If you were to do that, if we look at the furthest reaching point, which is going to be our panel over here, compare it to the back, that's about 29 inches, which is easily gonna fit through a standard doorway. You're also gonna be decreasing your width to about 42 inches. So whether you got tight corners, you got standard doorways, elevators, getting those headers loose is gonna make your job of installing and transporting this booster into the mechanical room a lot easier. Right now we're looking at the system overview screen that's gonna give you all of that info. You can see we dropped from the previous 50% to about 46.8% right now. The reason we're able to do this so effectively is because we have the programs, the pump curves actually programmed into the PLC. 
that lets you get much quicker reaction times and much better matching of what your building's demand actually is. We're not gonna play around with this too much because we are at a live site, but you can get to your pump overview screen, which will give you pump specific details, as well as flow energy information, including a programmable dollars per kilowatt hour. So you can find out exactly how much your operational cost for that booster is. You also have your alarm history and a lot more other information. Not only did we take the literal hardest working pump in your building and make it more efficient, but we also made it quieter, more reliable and easier to service. And that's on top of all of the benefits that you're already getting from a design envelope booster from Armstrong. Thank you everyone. I'm excited to introduce you to our design envelope permanent magnet booster.